I've always had that goal to win. If I can't like be the best, then it's not fun for me. I played a lot of football when I was little, probably starting when I was four. Well, he was very talented at football. I remember me and my father going to watch most of his games. That's a huge part of his life. And I think he was quite good when he was about 14, 15 years of age. But he got hurt in my knee. When I got injured, we went to a specialist at, uh, in Stockholm and he told me that I couldn't play for a year. I think he was quite sad. Sad that then he showed. I actually went home and was really mad and pissed off, but I went, actually went home and played a bit of uh, Counter-Strike on that evening. That was the only thing I could do, actually. My favorite game has always been Counter-Strike, ever since I started playing computer games. Olaf is a very competitive, persistent guy. Likes to be the best at what he does. He started playing and he became really, really, really good. When he's practicing in the evenings and he's getting a bit angry sometimes because he wants it to be perfect. My dad has always been supportive of me playing. Yeah. I told him like, if I can just focus on the game, I will like have it as a full-time job and he was like, go for it. There's this uh, sport professor who has published this book around the 10,000 hours that you have to invest 10,000 hours into something and if you do that you become really good at it. I think that's really true for Olaf because he has invested more than I think 10,000 hours. I think actually it runs in the family because I think we are really dedicated, every one of us, and wants to like focus on something and do our best. And for him it turned out to be Counter-Strike. Olaf is extremely focused on the place and also calm. I think also that he really likes the game. He likes playing for fun, not only competitive. And that makes him really versatile. Well, I probably got discovered when I played in LGD, I guess, which was around 2014. Static got to see me because we beat him in the quarterfinal. That was really important. Static asked me if I could join them. Now he's the best in the world at the, what he does. So we saw Olaf Meiser again. The, the envious went for the push on shore with the flashbang. He took down a no-scope and then just opened up the bomb site completely. Fantastic stuff for him. Three frags and what a performance. We know he is one of the best players in the world. It's kind of unreal. I don't think that I can understand how big it is right now. I think it's gonna like hit me more when like I stop playing and I can look back at this time. But it it's means everything to me, it's amazing. Well, he's really big, you know. When we were at this local video store in the store where we grew up, the guy working at the video store is saying like, wait a minute, aren't you uh, Olaf Meister? And he's like, yes, I'm also, whoa, this is cool. That's so weird. <laughs> it's quite of a new thing, of course, that he has fans. Some people came up and wanted to take a picture with me, and my friends were like, isn't it annoying that people comes up to you all the time? I was like, no. I don't see them as my fans, I see them as my friends. Olaf is a really nice guy, I mean, he genuinely likes his fans and I think that's why people like Olaf. I actually have like been given a nickname at my new job called Hannah Meister. <laughs> They're like, oh, hi Hannah Meister. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, hi, hi. Enormously proud. He's on the top. You have to feel good in life. That's important, and you have to do your thing. And he's doing his thing, his dream. Yeah, for me, he's really, really special. And I'm proud of partly like of everyone in our family that we have stood behind him and has given him the chance to do what he loves. Yeah, Counter Strike proved to be a, a nice alternative to to football. Now that it's, he's done it, it's really, really cool to see. We are one of the best teams in history. Now I can buy myself an apartment, I can buy myself a car. This was things that I wasn't like thinking of when I was starting out. Now it's like my full-time job. I always said that the best part is being able to play the game that you like. Right now, I eat, sleep, breathe, can't try.